Hey everybody, welcome to Eat My Shorts. Got another hot sauce review for you this evening. From El Yucateco in Yucatan, Mexico. This is their green habanero hot sauce. Take a little seat here. We're in the front room this evening, just to mix it up a little bit. I actually was going to film this outside today. Uh, I tried a few times throughout the day, but it was so windy outside that I just, it just wasn't working out. So it's coming to the end of the day now and I still haven't got this filmed. So I figure I'll just get this done in the front craft room. So give you a little read up of the label here. Um, there's not too much as far as any sort of a backstory or anything, but it does have the ingredients here. Water, habanero peppers, salt, acetic acid for pH control agent, spices, xanthan gum for a stabilizer, citric acid, onion powder, sodium benzoate as a preservative, and FD and C yellow number five, and FD and C blue number one. So a couple of artificial colors there for the final ingredients. I'm not a not a huge fan of that, I'll be honest with you, but that's okay. Um, this is a sauce that we regularly stock in the fridge. We do like this one. It's a nice mild one. Salsa picante. Oh, green hot sauce. I was reading the alternate language there. Um, yeah, product of Mexico, keep in a fresh and dry place. Yeah, not too much on there for information. There is, you know, a 1-800 number and uh, there is a website. I just saw it. And now I don't see it. I will leave uh, a link in the description box down below. Um, we got this from New Leaf in Kamloops. It's a fairly uh, mainstream sauce, so you should be able to find it in a lot of places. Shouldn't have too much trouble finding this one. So let's get the get the safety seal out of the way there. Give it a little shaky shake. Let's get up close here. I'll show you the label too. It's a fairly simple label. It's just the yellow and the little oval logo in the middle there. A nice green habanero there. They're obviously using green habaneros in this sauce because it is a green sauce. A nice signature blue stripe of the El Yucateco logo and then the nutritional information there. White cap which is kind of neat. I don't know, something different. Not your usual black cap. Let's open it up. There is no flow restrictor on this. It smells nice. It's got a nice fresh green kind of a scent to it. You picking that up? Yeah, you can definitely smell the habanero peppers and the onion. And that's about it really, to be honest. Take a seat again. <clears throat> Get the old, old, the Chase the Heat tasting spoon out, mother of pearl will not affect the flavor of this sauce. I'll stand back up. Excuse me. It's got a nice syrupy consistency. It's nice and pureed well. It's no chunks, no seeds in it. You can kind of tell by looking at it that it does have food coloring in it. Yeah, some little pieces in there. Not too much though. El Yucateco Green Habanero. Keep my shorts. Habanero and onion, and that is about it. That's about all that's going on in this. It's very
very mild. It does move my needle. I'd say it's a 1 out of 10 on my heat scale. If you're new to eating spicy things, mm, this could be a 4 or 5 out of 10 for you. Some very small particles in there. I can feel them with my with my tongue there. Um, very small bits of pepper in there. Mm. I really like the consistency of the sauce. Very fine consistency. Very mild, tasty sauce. If you like the taste of habanero, and green habanero, I guess that's just slightly underripe habanero. Still sitting at about a 1 out of 10 on my heat scale. Really good on, you know, any kind of Mexican food, of course. Any kind of tacos or burritos or your typical, typical um, habanero sauce things. Um, you, it could definitely have its place on a salad as well, as a salad dressing. Let's give it another taste, actually. Um, all sorts of things, really. Fish tacos. Eggs, definitely eggs. Definitely not a dessert style sauce. I mean, to the right person it would be, I guess. But not your typical dessert sauce. Yeah, it's good though. I like it. I like it a lot. I really like El Yucateco sauces. I wish they didn't feel the need to use those um, artificial colors in there. The yellow number five and the blue number one, you know, I'd be way more impressed with just the natural colors that existed because of those green habaneros. Um, I get that not every bottle would be the exact same color because of that, but that's okay. I don't mind that whatsoever. But still, it's a good sauce. If you want to get into eating hot sauces. If you haven't eaten a lot of hot sauces before, this is a great sauce to start you off. Um, this is one of the ones that started me off. Right up there with Frank's. And, uh, I'm trying to think of what the other originals are. Definitely Frank's. Probably Frank's is probably the original hot sauce for me, but El Yucateco is not far behind. And Igu Iguana Gold as well. But, uh, yeah, if you're looking to start your journey on eating spicy foods, I recommend this one. This is a good starting point, or uh, any of the El Yucateco products, really. There's a red one that's good, too, and they make an extra hot one as well. And they make a whole bunch of other ones as well, too, that I've never even tried, but those those three are the, the or these three are the ones that I've tried that are very good starter sauces. Um... Not too much else going on this evening. It's Friday night, but we're just kind of taking it easy. Um, not a whole lot on the go. Um, yeah, just wanted to get a quick, quick, we're at nine minutes again already. Quick hot sauce review for you, because I've been meaning to get this done all day. Um, I do have Maggie in here with me, so. I will bring her over, because she is the star of this channel, of course. Can you even see her? Oh yeah. There you are, Maggie. You should have seen her, actually, right before I fired up the camera. She was so stoked. She was just running back and forth and following me. And I don't want to say getting in the way, because that makes it sound like she's an inconvenience. But she was right at my heels the whole time I was getting this room kind of tidied up and getting the tripod set up. and. I actually, um, just today, I put a, I put a coat of paint on, I won't show you yet, but I could put a coat of paint on this new 
workbench. You might be able to see it there. It's gloss black though. Oh yeah, you can see it kind of. Um, my buddy Jeremy gave me this workbench after my last one collapsed. So I'm going to mount my hydraulic shop press onto this one that he gave me. And uh, cause you know, it's, you know, three feet by three feet or so, two or two, two by three feet or so. I'm gonna mount the press onto this one. And then the big oak table that the press is on right now is going to be turned into a workbench. And it's about four feet by three feet. So this is all working out really well. This has got a nice fresh coat of gloss black on it. So it looks, looks nice again. And uh, just need to get it all screwed down, but. <laughs> yeah, Maggie's just down here at my feet. She's just kind of cuddling up to me. She got another carrot in her dinner tonight from you, Charlie Mullins. That was absolutely a carrot from you. Uh, oh yeah, there she is, poking her head up. Yeah, um, I think I can even move this out of the way. Oh, that actually doesn't make much difference. <laughs> she didn't like that. That was a little too scary. She doesn't like big changes like that. Um, but anyways, wanted to make sure Maggie made an appearance in the video tonight, because I know that means a lot to all of you. She brightens my day, that's for sure, so I like to imagine she brightens other people's days too, so uh, I hope that you've all had a good day today. I hope that you've enjoyed yourselves, and uh, I hope at the end of the day that you had a good day. I, uh, I appreciate you all. I, uh, I'm getting kind of lost in my words here. Um, yeah, I appreciate all of the likes and all of the comments. It all means so much to me. Um, all the encouragement and the support, it really, really means a lot to me. So thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Um, don't forget to like the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And stay tuned for more content like this. We'll try to get outside soon. Uh, hopefully the wind cooperates a little bit more for us coming up. Um, this has been another episode of Heat My Shorts. Go try out some El Yucateco if you haven't already, if you're new to the spice game. Cheers, everybody. I love you all. This has been Heat My Shorts.